Mickey Rob's Banks here with an auction preview video. <clears throat> and we have I've got a lot of uh, a lot of requests for a constitutional. So I have honored those requests and I have went and got some constitutional to put into the auction for this week. This is a 1925 Stone Mountain coin. Half dollar. Beautiful condition. Also have a BU Walking Liberty. Look at that thing. It's a 1946 BU Walking Liberty. We have a lot more to show. I have some more of the Sterling Bars from the History of World War II. This one is the Invasion of Italy. From the European Theater. I have one from the Pacific Theater. And this one is nice. Pearl Harbor Attack. This one's got a little age to it. But it's a really cool bar. These are Sterling 925, but they're one and a half ounce of 925. I also have some more beautifully toned American Silver Eagles. I don't know if you guys can see that on there, but look at the blue. Look at the blue coming in on this. These are all a little bit older. This one's a 1991. And they're all BU. Some more blue toning at the top of this one. It's a 1986 first year American Silver Eagle with a little toning coming in on the side. A little bit of rainbow toning starting. 1986 American Silver Eagle. BU condition. Beautiful coin. Nineteen ninety three American Silver Eagle. This one doesn't have any toning. And I'm rather sure. No, this one does have a little bit of a milk spot on it. Got a 1990. Another BU. No spotting on this one. And we have... Another 1990. So we have two 1990s. <clears throat> Another Sterling bar that I have is the Battle of the Bulge. I have one of the proof like Sterling bars. This is the Joseph Stalin. You can see the, the cameo and the frosting on it. And I have the Invasion of Okinawa. Pacific Theater. Also, I have some fantastic commemoratives. Yeah, that's right. This is the 2009 Lincoln Proof, United States of America. Beautiful condition on these. I have the Marines coin. It's 
It's so proof-like you can see the reflection of everything on it. And it doesn't want to focus for some reason. Come on, baby. There we go. Maybe. There we go. 2005 United States Marines. Anything you're seeing is on the case. The coin itself is flawless. You'll see that in the auction. As I always open the case and show you guys what it looks like. And we also have the 2011 United States Army. Philadelphia proof as well. I've got quite a few casino tokens again. We've got the 7-Eleven from the Colorado Bell in Laughlin, Nevada. We've got the Edgewater. We've got the Mandalay Bay Great White Shark. And some of these have an S mark on them. This one's been touched a little bit. We have an Excalibur, but not any Excalibur, the Dragon Excalibur. We've got a McCarran Slots, McCarran International Airport, Las Vegas, Nevada. A lot of these are fantastic inside. As I do the auction, you guys will see me open them up and you'll be able to get a chance to look at them. for the quality that they are when I open them. And we'll go from there. I've got a Luxor. And this one has a S mark on it. I don't know if that's a mint mark or what, but it's a Luxor S mark. And this one is, whew, so fine. Also got a Sahara. S mark. Got a Gold River. Laughlin, Nevada. Stagecoach. And we have a horseshoe. With the Texas State Steel. Texas State State Seal on it. We also have a few more of the 2013 Native American coins. The Philadelphia and Denver rolls sets. These have the wolf, turkey, and turtle reverse with the Native American obverse. These are mint sealed rolls. They came from a mint sealed box, if you guys watched my last auction. I have two sets of those available tonight, or in the next auction, tomorrow night. Some more constitutional. I've got a 1923 Peace Dollar BU in a nice little hard case. Look at the... Look at the shiny. I also have some silver rounds. We've got the 2012 Year of the Dragon. These were made by, or these were sold by Atmex. Don't know if Atmex made them, but Atmex sold them. And these are individually sealed. They're easy to cut along individually. So we'll be doing quite a few of these. We have 10 of them total. We have just a few foreign pieces, and these are a couple Canadians. We have the four nines fine Canadian Cougar. One ounce. 
we have the, I don't know how to say it, but it's a 2015 Burundi, Burundi, Republic of Burundi, 2015 African Lion. And we have the Gray Wolf. Three quarter rounds. But we are not saying last but not least on the rest of the coins in this auction. That's right, folks. That is an 1831 capped bust half dollar. And look at the condition on this one. This thing is phenomenal. All day. Very, very nice. Great details on it. Especially for an 1831. Still has mint luster on it. 1831. We have a beautifully toned 1890. S. Morgan Dollar. This thing has all the details. The brass feathers. It has it all. This thing is in fantastic condition. Fantastic condition. We also have a beautiful 1881 Philadelphia. No, this one is 1881 San Francisco, an 1881S, another S, and again, BU condition. This thing is phenomenal. Still has all the luster. The scratch is on the, on the flip. It's not on the coin. These things are fantastic. And then, if you're not wanting to get something that's as fantastic, we have... A standard 1899 O Orleans Mint Morgan Dollar. Does not have the detail as the other ones. But it's an Orleans Mint. And do we have slabbage? Of course we have slabbage. We have another PCGS PR70 D Cameo San Antonio Missions National Park. Silver proof. We have a perfect slab. Proof 70. We've got a Mickey Rob's Bank slab. This is a National Park quarter holder set. This has a San Antonio Missions West Point quarter. And a San Antonio Missions Denver quarter from the accidental early release box that I found. The West Point is not from the box, but I did find it in an uncirculated box. It's an uncirculated San Antonio Mission West Point. In fact, it's the last one that I have of the uncirculated ones. The ones that I found in the uncirculated boxes that I did not get graded. And the Denver Minute coin is number 13 of 1,500. Autograph. Serialized Denver Mint Quarter with an uncirculated West Point San Antonio Missions. Auction's going to be tomorrow night, guys, at 7.30 as usual. Usual starting time, usual starting place. We'll be doing giveaways for likes. We'll be doing giveaways for silver as well if we get over a certain amount of likes. If you guys want to get in on some of this stuff, just come on out. We're going to start at 7.30. Hope to see you guys there. Until then, Mickey Ross Banks signing off. Happy hunting, folks.